So, but I think, yeah, it's it's kind of finding that harmony to move with the seasons rather than just being so opposed to like, oh, it's coming up, I'm dreading it, you know? Mm -hmm. And just accept that it's actually the part of how the world kind of, the earth resets itself. Yeah. So it's, we also need to reset ourselves. Yep. Right? So there's this like link that I think a lot of us are disconnected from. Um, and it makes a big difference. Okay, so yeah, that that's my question. If you feel connected to the earth. Yeah, we do. Everybody should feel connected to the earth. You know, the trees, the animals, the people, yeah. unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, we are of the earth. Right. Um, and being that I work out in the air, I feel connected. I drive a taxi, yeah. So you have to feel connected because you're meeting people all the time. For one hand, you, you're going out, outside the city and the rural areas. And, like, do people tell you interesting stories and stuff? That's part of the connection? Oh, yeah, that's part of it. Stories you hear. They're unbelievable. <laughs> that's cool. Kind of like a therapist. But that's maybe that's part of it is people are in that brief ride. They're seeking connection with another person. It is. It's sort of like the job is community service. Okay. It's, it's that's community real. service. Yeah, that's true. Just you cause always get people that are stuck. First one they come to is a taxi driver. Right, they're stuck in their lives. You mean something? Yeah, wrong. they're stuck. Yeah. Like a lot of folks come off here, they're stuck. They don't know where anything's at. Yep. Yep. And it's just a lot of times it goes beyond the job. I don't really know what's going on. I can't really see where we're going. Sometimes the future does not Sometimes the future does not To the community or to the earth? There's really, a difference. There is a difference. Okay. I'd love to hear your thoughts on, on the community. If we, you don't have to be connected with the community, but we have to be connected to the earth because this is the only thing we live on. Okay. Okay. We don't take care of the earth. We're done. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's what we're talking about on NPR News. I listen to NPR News yeah. all day long. Yeah. How the water is rising. People down in Miami thought they were safe. Now the water rises. They're not safe. No, they're not safe. Nobody's safe. Because they're too close to the water. That's right. It's rising, they say, five feet a year. Do you feel connected to the earth? No. Yeah, that's a good answer. Um, have, have you ever felt connected to the, the planet or the earth? No. What's Do you different? feel connected to a neighborhood or a specific place? New York City. Yeah, the whole thing, like every borough? Or? It's New York or nowhere. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, or Harlem. Yeah, I hear you. I'm still connected to the city. I guess if you could say this, Manhattan is the earth, and I'm connected. Yeah. That's the only way. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. That's cool. Thank you. Alan, hi. This is Bernie Thanks. I finally get a chance to, um, to answer your question on do I feel connected to the earth. Mine is more of uh, being grateful um, because um, of my faith, I believe that God created the earth. And so it, mine is being grateful and having respect for the earth. And because we're supposed to be good stewards. And so we're supposed to take good care of the earth. And um, because the earth, if we take good care of it, then obviously it produces for us. It works for us. Um, and so 
that's where my appreciation comes from. Um, all my connection comes from is that I appreciate the earth and uh, God's creation, and definitely I respect it, and that I I try to be a good steward of it. I hope this helps. All right, bye bye.